Are you the new host of Cloaky Moco? Are, are you the, like... So I used to... Oh my god! <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Come sit here. Pleasure meeting you too. Can, have you have energy? You can jump? Jump. There you are. All right. So talk to me. Mm, you're the first host, right? Yeah. You and Lana. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Yeah, we... Um, so, you know, when you grew older... Mm -hmm. uh, we decided to give the show back to the kids. Mm -hmm. Back to you. <laughs> so we re redesigned it. Yes. For it to be able to fit being hosted by by the people it belongs to, which is you guys. So we gave it back to you. And then we moved on. Okay, so how was the experience of being a club Kiboko host? It was nice. It was uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I think we also I think that the important thing is that we relieved our childhood memories. So a lot of things we did on the show are things that we used to think about when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Or do when we were kids. Uh, that you couldn't do on television stations then, so it was fun. And you, how is it? It's good, it's fun. At least also when we are going to the play parks, I can play. Were there play parks the time? I don't know. I, maybe you can find, I don't know if you can though. Um, and if you do, let me know, because I don't know if they are. But um, uh, maybe the one you need to find mm -hmm. is the last ones we did, because we went to places uh, in deep coastal area where we found kids who had never been interviewed. So, if you can find that one, that will be good for you. So how is the transition from being on TV to now being a radio presenter? Uh, it is actually easier. Huh? It is easier if you are um, uh, a TV person. Like now for you, if you ever decide to go on radio, mm -hmm. it will be very easy for you. It's difficult for somebody who's never had the experience, who's never been on television, because a microphone won't scare you, um, uh, an audience won't scare you, so it's easier. So it wasn't, not, it wasn't that difficult. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it had a bit of differences in there, because it, cause I never did live television. Radio is live. Oh. Uh, so when you make a mistake, you make a mistake and it goes. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> scary. Um, but it's... It's, um, uh, it's easier. So if you ever want to get on radio, you tell me. I'll teach you. Okay. I promise I'll teach Thank you. Thank you. Yeah? So how long have you been in the industry? Oh my God, 1990 to now, that's how many? 32? 32 years. 30, oh my God, it's been 32, 32 years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. I hope yeah. I'll be in the industry. Yes, you long. will. Because, you know, sometimes, like, yes, I've been, like, I've been a poet, an actress. Uh, How old are you? I'm just nine years old. Anyway. Nine? And you've done all that? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to be bigger than me. Because I've been a poet, actress, musician, then now TV host. Maybe next will be radio. So at some point, maybe along the way, I'll decide... <laughs> thanks. Maybe along the way, I'll just decide to be a politician or something. Good. You know why that's important? Um... People are scared of politics, and that's what the bad politicians want people to think, that it's scary. It's not scary. Um, uh, and people like you, because now you've, you've been able to, to talk, talk to kids, and this, this, your, your fans are going to grow up with you. And those are the people who will vote for you because they've felt you, they've seen you, they've seen the changes you want to bring. When, you know, when you're your age, mm -hmm. so when you grow older with them, that's your support base. Oh, okay. So, wow, that's brilliant. Yeah, I mean... Thank you. So, how do you know if people are listening? How do you know if people are watching? So, here's the thing. So, I was out of uh, radio for a while. So, technology has changed. So, apparently, so what happens? Come on, show you. Come on, show you. Come here, show you. Okay. So, uh, so you see, you see, you see, uh, like this comment. So, you see, like this number. So, these numbers, the likes, and the commentaries, uh, uh, the the times. So, they're able to. You're using technology mm -hmm. to extrapolate that and see how many, how many, how many eyeballs. So they call them eyeballs mm -hmm. uh, while watching or listening. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a weekend show, so weekend shows are a little tricky. So we really have to talk a lot or have really 
engaging content. Mm -hmm. Others, like, you know, I mean, Saturday people just chill. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's harder now uh, on a weekend, but that's how it works, really. So now, now if you want to know how many people are listening, just come and see how many people are, likes, people responding, how often, and then that gives you a snapshot. Oh, okay, that's yeah? good. So what advice would you give to children out there who want to be a great and good presenter as you Believe are? in yourself. First. Have you had first, that? First, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Two, believe that you, that, that, um, uh, uh, you must want to be a broadcaster. You know, so if, if so you can believe in yourself that you have the ability, but then you're like, I don't want to do it in television, I'll do it somewhere else. So you have to conf you have to make sure, is this what you want to do? Because it can be a bit tough sometimes. Uh, people can say sort of things, it can be challenging as you go along. Mm -hmm. So you also must want to be a radio presenter or a TV presenter, whatever the case may be. So you have to, once you have all that, nothing else will move. And then you have to consistently do your research. So read, read. So reading is important. Mm -hmm. You have to read, 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 do research so that you're in the know. Yeah. And what are some of the challenges that you can face? Because I myself personally haven't faced so Are much you serious? No one talks badly about you? No. What? Like, yeah. that, maybe they, they do, but they don't. Yeah. Good. Oh, brilliant. That's a good answer. So maybe they do, but it doesn't phase you. Yeah. Keep it that way. Um, actually, that's it, really. That's, that's the most difficult thing. Uh, where you think that you, you really want people to say nice things about you, mm -hmm. but then you realize you can't please everyone. Yeah. So the challenging bit really is is um, having to make sure that you understand a topic so well that you're able to give it to your listener to make informed decisions. Remember, mm -hmm. you don't give people your opinion. You give them two platforms, two, two, two uh, uh, sides of the coin for them to make informed decision. Mm -hmm. So if they want to follow this side or this side, but you have to make, the, you have to make sure you give them um, all the information from both sides. Do you enjoy what, like, being a radio I presenter? It. I Do you love enjoy being it. on the TV? I love it. Do you love it? I love it. So Let I go on. Oh, you. it's such an honor to meet you. <laughs> two club Kiboko hosts from two generations. You will be great, you know that? Thank you. Thank you.